if uh, intent is all that matters, does it mean that if one has a pure intent as a sorcerer, a witch, a wizard, a warlock, then the use of whatever energy at his at his disposal is okay because uh, it's all it's only intent that mat matters so it doesn't matter uh, what the person knows but it's what to what what purpose he he he, he puts uh, what he has, how he uses what he has at his disposal is what matters. So I, I don't know because uh, uh, this question of, of intent is uh, it's a bit catchy, you know. It's a bit uh, tricky somehow. And uh, I want you to, I would like you to, to, to shed some more light on, on this because uh, it, will, it will seem that uh, even a bad thing, or <laughs> bad in quotes, can be turned, darkness can be turned into light with a pure intent. So what do you say about that? Yes, it's very interesting. And again, aside from the mind and creating the personal self, all of us create our personal self, just like we create our life here. And for the most part, it's a surface life. We just see things in this part of creation. We just see the outer world. Uh, we see what's going on, etc. And we become involved. It's a surfacey thing. And uh, we create ideas according to it, feelings, etc. We use the five bodies, okay, which are really mechanisms, the physical, astral, you know, causal, mental, etheric body. And uh, they're just vehicles is what they are, but they're seen uh, on the surface, a surfacey, basically one-dimensional view is that, oh, this is us, this is me. In a way, it is. And it's just like when a person owns a car, they say, oh, this car is me. Okay, that's, that car is me. And so, again, and, but it's a vehicle, it's a car, it's not really you. And even on the road, when someone's driving, it's like, oh, that Dodge, you know, uh, you know uh, cut me off or whatever. But it's really the person driving the car, isn't it? Or that guy in there. So, whatever. So, we have this, we have this created self. And uh, what I recognized over time was, is that, and the process that I went through is, is that, uh, most people do not recognize their intent, uh, and it is very important. And so uh, this is where people create uh, agendas, hidden agendas, exposed or whatever. That becomes part of it, too. Uh, and for the most part, most people, and you brought up the purpose aspect, it's very important, too. Most people in this, in this world uh, look for a career or a job to sustain themselves. That's a, that's different. That's that's their purpose. But a real purpose with real intent is uh, to discover and recognize the all is, and so that becomes different. And so, again, um, you know, you have the uh, political, religious, spiritual, educational system, scientific, uh, all these things, business world, uh, and it's basically surfacey. And they don't recognize, for the most part, they don't recognize their intent uh, and where it's going. But they do have an intent. A person can, it's like, oh, I want to, you know, I want to, you know, be the president of a corporation. Or another person, it's like, oh, okay, I want to marry the next, the girl next door, uh, etc. And the next person is that they want, to, uh, you know, they want a career as this or that. Or they want to run for president, okay. So that's an aspect of their intent, uh, that's not their full intent. It can't be because uh, what we really are is we are free beings of real life. We're already that. We're already this isness. But it is up to us through this process of creation uh, when and if ever and, and how we are going to recognize that. It's a recognition. 
just like anything, just like how anything's been created here. It's really all through recognition. You don't just go out there and start putting sand piles together and pounding rocks and stuff like that. And it's like, okay, well, I'm going to make, uh, you know, I'm going to make sheets of drywall out of this. No, that's it's more than that. It's a recognition of how to take the materials of the earth because everything comes from the dirt. Absolutely everything that we have from our clothing, the cars, the roads, the buildings, the glass, the whatever it is, it all comes from the dirt. Recognize how to, uh, you know, work the situation, you might say. And so, but still the real intent of the individual, your real intent uh, is hidden, you might say. It's, it's, you're not recognizing your real intent and your real intent when it's fully recognized is to stand real and recognize the isness life is that only makes sense because it is a position to where you're not affected no longer affected by secondary causes and unaware of the true reality life is so again people uh you know they they you might say they create an intent when it's a secondary thing like what's going on in the world they're not really recognizing their real intent. And so this is what I bring out as I write what I do uh, to see if people will uh, learn to recognize, you know, what are you pivoting off of? What's the idea here? And it's not your real intent. It's an idea. So it's like, again, it's like, well, I want to be, uh, you know, the president of a company. That's first with me. Okay. So what you've done is you've created that idea. I want to be president of a company and you pivot off of that thinking that, oh, this is my intent, but that's not really your real intent. Uh, your real intent is with your real awareness and getting to recognize past the idea. So again, uh, yes, a real intent is very important. But for the most part, again, uh, people have created and just like the idea of wanting to be president of a company or something like that, it's really kind of an agenda is what it is. It's not their real intent, but we use that idea. This So this is where I put the word real on the front of things because, uh, you know, trying to stretch it a little bit and have our own reference uh, according to the real universe is so uh, recognizing this along with a real purpose, which I've written about many times, it's, it's very important to recognize your real intent, to recognize a real purpose, not just a purpose like, oh, I want to go out there and I want to save the world or I want to save the ducks or whatever. That's fine. We're, we're, we're playing with that too because we, you know, the rhino thing, the 9-11 rhino thing and all these things, we're playing with that too, but that's not the main point. We're involved in these things so that we can provide an, a, a greater education, a real education for people to see more and at the same time handle that too. Yeah, so as you become more aware, it's like if you have a family and you have children or whatever, you become more aware of how to, uh, you know, uh, make things work better. That's the whole idea. You know, we don't, uh, the idea of the new presentation, what I'm presenting is not to section off anything. And so when people have attitudes or whatever, they've created these ideas themselves. And what I see for the most part is, is that uh, they don't see their real intent. And uh, they really are saying, well, my personal life comes first and I don't care about this. And besides, it's scary and uh, I don't want to be a risk taker and whatever. And that's fine, too. That's really what they're saying, because everybody demonstrates themselves. But as you go through this just like the real guys, as you go through the process, and it's not easy, it's like what Chris went through uh, in boot camp, and it's a lot more, it's huge. Uh, you know, to figure this out even, it would be something like this, and that is, is that uh, if you wanted your own car to build it, and you, all the pieces that it takes to build a car, which is like 10, 20, 30,000 pieces, up to 100,000 pieces, whatever, every little bolt and, uh, you know, apparatus and valve and everything and to pour the molds and do whatever and make each piece, uh, you know, that's a huge challenge. You, could you do that in a lifetime or 10 lifetimes? I mean, to make each piece and to pour the molds and then to, uh, you know, sand it down so that it fits and all these calculations, etc. Well, that's a toughie, isn't it? That seems like an impossibility, doesn't it? Well, guess what? 
what you're into now with the new presentation is even far more than that. Yeah, way far more than that. So anything in creation that's a challenge, and I'm amazed. Uh, we look at the cities and the buildings and the freeways and the technology, etc. Well, guess what? People take it for granted thinking that, oh, okay, I know this. I know what Dwayne's talking about. No, you don't. It's bigger than all of that. It's more so. Okay, it's not that it's bigger. The isness is more so than all of that. So when it comes to your personal life and the surfacey view that people have, of course they don't recognize their real intent. They cannot at all see it, but they will. But you can think anything you want, thinking that, oh, I know that. I, I heard him talk, and I did this, and whatever, and I've been through all these paths, and, oh, they're all the same, and whatever. It's like, no, you're not seeing it at all. You're just seeing you know, a few scribbles on a piece of paper, that's all you're seeing. The whole of life, to get to the isness, to recognize that. Again, everybody demonstrates themselves and, and most people will go to their personal lives. And guess what? That's all you'll have because that's all you've had for lifetimes. And again, it's it's your choice. It's Everything's fine. All I can do is basically sort out, you might say, and provide a reference the best I can for what is happening right now. And so, again, yeah, that's a biggie for people to take the time to recognize their real intent. What is that about? What would my real intent be? What would a real purpose be? What is the isness? you see? And more so than your mind. Who would take the time to do that? Well, I've set up my being, my real being, the isness that I am, to where that it's automatic. It automatically shows up. The next step, and the next step, and the next step. You see, I don't have to chase it, because it's an isness. This is what's so cool about it. You set it up to where eventually you don't have to chase it anymore, but at first you do, because you've got to first go through your created self to eventually see your own intent. And that's a huge challenge, too, and most people don't want to do that. They don't want to face themselves because all they've created. They just want their little la-la land thinking that, oh, well, I'll just love everything and that'll take care of it. You know, we'll just love the world and, you know, hey, and peace and happiness and we'll go for that. Well, guess what? That's just a surfacey idea that equals what? Uh, actually, many times it becomes to where it just adds to the confusion. But it's fine. You can have your own little world. But it has nothing to do with the whole of life. So all these things sound good. So what the heck is it? Well, yeah, again, who will become the risk taker and really learn to see that, recognize it, their own intent, and recognize a real purpose overall? That's huge. And I don't take it for granted. Uh, even everything that I've been through through this whole life here, and intensely so, and almost died many times, and on and on and on, uh, etc. You know what? It's only a speck of dust. That's all it is uh, compared to what life is. Yeah, it's the big adventure. It's so awesome. But again, you have to learn to see it. And those that do really do demonstrate it. They're not going to go be. They're not going to go hide with their personal lives again. Again, they're going to see what their personal lives really, uh, really, really uh, entail. And, hey, I had the family. I had a daughter. She's 33 right now. But it, she's not my daughter. She's her own being and person. She has her own journey. That's real. Uh, I'm not into the emotional attachments of the relationships because, again, at a certain point, just like a bird in a nest, they fly off. And do they come back to the nest and visit their mother? No, they just go on their own adventure because it's a process we go through. But what takes place here over lifetimes is all the emotional attachments and the distortion that is created with the family ideas to where it could be a lot better, but people want to hold on to the emotional stuff, which all leads to old age and tragedy. And that's lifetime after lifetime. If that makes sense, go for it. You decide. But it has nothing to do with recognizing your real intent. And that's the best part when you do that and can also recognize a real purpose and what's really going on right now. So life is always now. It is never then or will be. It is always now. This is the nowness life is. And it's so cool when you can see it. But you really got to decide to do that. And you really got to uh, get through yourself, first of all. That's the toughie. Yeah, so thank you uh, for asking, Charles. That's kind of an idea there of it.